And to fill us in on the live and local music scene from Radio Boise, it is Elizabeth. Hey, how are you? Awesome as always. Good. You guys got some cool, you know, First Thursday stuff going on this week, don't you? Yes. Uh, First Thursday on August 4th down at Radio Boise, we're doing our open house, which is super exciting because we're unveiling our top five t-shirt designs from the t-shirt design contest that we just had. Nice. Yes, I can't wait to see them. So if you're interested, stop by. You might be coming. I am coming because you guys have free food going We on. do and appetizers, <laughs> maybe a little drink. So you can stop by, meet the Radio Boise staff. I'll be down there. Everyone else will be down there. See, for the first time, the top five t-shirt designs that we'll have rotating on tour at our sponsor locations throughout the month of August. Starting at Record Exchange, then going to Flying M Coffee Garage in Nampa, Saltier's Cafe, and then Pizza Chick at the end of the month. Now, can people vote on these, or what's the deal with that? Yeah, definitely. Come down either to Radio Boise on first Thursday this week to vote. You can also vote online at our website, radioboise.org, or stop by one of our sponsor locations in August. Sounds awesome. Definitely. Okay. Well, what do we got on store for, uh, for the big music this weekend? Friday night is going to be awesome. There's a lot of shows to choose from. There's a reggae show down at the Reef. Uh, at Flying M Coffee Garage in Nampa. I'm really excited about this one. Candy Claws and Desert Noises with local opener Sleepy Seahorse. Candy Claws are kind of a folky, electronic, experimental. That's my style. Nice. Also over at the Red Room in downtown Boise, another really exciting one for those in the know is the Brett Netson Band. And you might recognize that name as the guitar player from Built to Spill. Oh, yeah. So this is his project. He's going to be doing that show at the Red Room on Friday night at 9 p.m. Local Boise guy does big national, yes. you know? Yes, yes. Very exciting. Saturday night, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on Saturday with the beer festival. Not so many big concerts Saturday night. But if you're not really into the beer thing, maybe you just want to have a glass of wine and get some jazz, check out Liquid. The Ben Burdick Trio with Amy Weber will be performing there at 9 p.m., and that's free. Oh, sounds can, very cultural. Yeah, no, oh yes, definitely very cultural. I'm sure you're into that. Right. You can also go out to Meridian Curb Bar and Grill. A Tasty Jam is a rock covers band. They'll be playing out there at 8 p.m. Or back at Penn Gillies if you want some blues, the three sides are playing at 9. Nice. Now, finally, I always like to talk about the big summer concerts, the big summer festivals in Idaho because they're amazing here. Uh, the 22nd annual Yellow Pine Harmonica Festival, and that's in Yellow Pine, Idaho, a little bitty tiny town of like 50 people, explodes to thousands of people every year on this weekend just for this nationally recognized harmonica festival. Bluegrass, you can camp, get down with the hippies, wear your tie-dye. <laughs> it's a super fun time. Visit harmonicacontest.com for more information on that one. It's kind of like the uh, annual fiddle fest, but with harmonicas. Exactly. Sounds great. Well, Elizabeth, we really appreciate the heads up on all the cool music heading our way Definitely. this weekend. Well, right on. Well, if that's not enough for you, the monkeys are coming to town. And Sean McBride, the movie guy, will give details right after this as ETV continues.